Hello and welcome. In this class, we'll talk about candlesticks. Um, this is what some of the things you would first see when you open your chart. You'd see candlesticks like this, forest candlesticks. So you open the currency chart, um, forest chart, and you'd see this kind of, all of this red and green candles, you know, lines to you. Maybe these are just looking like lines painted in different colors. And you're wondering, what are all these ones? They don't, they don't make sense. If you're totally new to the market, they just looks like, they just look like, you know, these are just candles, these are just lines. You really don't understand what they mean now, right? But to someone who trade already, to me, what I am seeing is raw cash, raw dollar. Why? Because I see this, say, I look at an area, price was 14188, and then I jump in. Say, I jump in at that price, and I was able to close at 14200. What happens? I've made money between 14188 that I enter and 14200. I have made money. Price had increased, moved away from where it was, and at the time I was buying, it has increased. So I know that what I am seeing is money, right? But so a layman, you don't really understand what it means, and that is why I especially prepared this class to really just have you understand candlestick, what it means. Okay, candlestick chart. We start from there, and you have an idea of what it means. Okay, so let's go. Candlestick chart, what do they mean? What does all of this mean? This uh, The color orientation on this particular chart is red and green, and the red candles represent sellers. The green candles represent buyers. If you look at it, when the price was there with this red candle, what happens thereafter? Price fall. This is price on this side. The time interval is down below here. So price was dropping from here all the way down. And what do we have? More of red candles. When we have more of green candles here, what happened? Price was increasing. And that means that the, when there are more buyers in the market, you see more green candles or bigger green candles forming. When there are more sellers in the market, you see more of red candles forming. Now, but this is the orientation for this chart. Some people would use black and white and the white to represent the bull candle, the which is the buyer candles, and the black would represent the seller. So you can use any color orientation you have, but just bear in mind that on this chart and what I will be explaining here, the green represent the buying candles, the sell represent the sellers. Okay, sorry, the red represent the sellers. Now let's move on and see what each of them mean. Now this is why, what a candle can look like. A candle can have a full body with where the color will really come out and show and it could have small wicks above and below like this so let's see see this candle this one has wick below it doesn't have above that's a red candle we are looking at a green candle and this is one wick above wick below what does it mean full body candle now this is the whole range of the candle if we are looking at the range of the candle we are looking at from here this eye where the price had been to today to this place. So the all of this place is called the candlestick range, right? But now what is this eye? It is the highest price that the price had been to when this candle opened. Now what you also need to understand is that when we look at our chart, all right, there are different time frames associated to each chart. So this chart open may be, let's say a daily candle. What that means is that this is one day candle. If you open and check and do um, a one hour candle, it's just, you, are, you are looking at the one hour, okay? Candle formed for the one hour. That means that in that one hour, this was the highest point price had been, and this was the lowest point price had gotten to when this candle was formed, whether it is daily candle, whether it is one hour, or whether it is four hour. Now, that is above the week, right? And this tiny part is called the week. This is the lower week. This is the upper week. And this is the real body, you see? Real body, real body of the candle, upper week, lower week. Some candles do, do not, will not have upper week or lower week. They will only have one week. And some will not have any week at all, right? Now, this is the lowest point price had been. This is the close where the price had closed for that day or for that hour or for the four hour period when the candle formed. 
that is this is the closing price in a buy candle bullish candle that's what it's called when you hear bullish it means bias in the market or, or the market is moving or the price is increasing when you hear bearish it means that the price is falling and the whole market price is going to the downside okay so in the bullish candle where the candle is going up when the upper body is the close price the lower body is where the price had opened. And what that means is that when price opened, price had gone down at some point, but it comes back up and moved up, goes all the way up to this point, could not close there, but finally closes here. So where the body closes, is a closing price, this is the open price. How about the bearish candle, the red one, that we see more when the price is, the market is selling. This is also the upper week, this one, the upper week, this is the lower week, and this is the real body of the candle. This is the highest point price had been that day. This is the lowest price price had been that day. But this is the open price. While this is the open price and price moved up and closed here, this is the open price from this, and price moved down and price closed there. So the lower body path is the closing price, the upper part of the body, is the open price. So I hope I hope you get a grasp of what a candlestick is and what everyone means. You can do a screen grab of this to remember next time what um, the higher point of a bullish candle is, where the lower point or the open or the close price of each of these candles are. Please have a beautiful day and see you in the next class. Cheers.